What's up guys, Drew here. Welcome back to Starting Out Solitary. It's week 251 and we are discussing the ethics of contacting spirits. Again, this one isn't so simple for me. I'm going to assume that when we're saying spirits, we're talking about deceased, those that have lived in the flesh. But for me, spirits is a much broader label. It could be spirits of the land, um, which is something in between, oh gosh, um, it's akin to an ancestral energy, if you will. Um, but it's something between those that have walked the land and the land itself. It's some sort of amalgamation of that for me. When I say that term could be divic spirits, which would be literally like plant spirits, you know, um, could be the fae, could be, I mean, there's so many things for me that could fall under the label spirits. So I'll probably touch on all of that, but I'm going to assume that what was meant by this was spirits of those that have passed. So that's going to be the basis of this. Ethics. My practice and my thoughts, ideas, beliefs, and my experience are my own. And while I will look at other people's and they may touch mine in some way. Really, ultimately, it has to go through my BS meter, right? It has to go through my heart, my heart's knowing. Is this right? Is this wrong? And I don't really care what other people have to say about it. Um, and if I'm unsure, then I can check with higher guidance. But it just it has to resonate within me. So I really don't have like a set system of ethics when it comes to this topic and mainly because I don't really do it. Um, I have had contact with other worldly beings, with spirits of different natures um, in that spectrum that I spoke about, but rarely do I go out of my way to contact them. Usually, um, I mean, the, the relationship I have with the Fae, for example, is more about me just acknowledging them, honoring them. And if they show up and are around, then yeah, I want to work with you. But I'm not, I don't call them in like, come make my garden grow kind of, or I don't know. Yeah, I just don't call them in really. Um, and the same for the deceased. I don't really call them in. I've had experiences, but I, I didn't actually typically seek those out. It's not something that I have a huge amount of experience in on any level. Um, I do contact my ancestors and work with them regularly. For me, it's just about having a relationship with, okay? So I think it depends, the ethics in my mind depend on what the end game is, what the goal is. Um, if my goal is just to have them around, to honor them, to work with them, um, to have a relationship with them, that's one thing. And it's a whole other thing if like I'm trying to well, so I wouldn't do this. Okay. I do not seek to have control over others. I, I'm just, I'm not really interested in it. I, I like to empower and I like to work with, and, um, I'm, I'm not going to summon a, a demon, for example, and, uh, make them do my bidding with us with like Solomon seals or something. Like, I'm not, I'm not interested in that personally. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. It's just not for me. Um, I'm not here to decide how other people should walk their path, really, honestly. Um, it's not right for me. So I'm not into it. I don't do it. Okay, I'm so off topic here. All right. Basically, my personal ethics when it comes to contacting spirits is respect. That's it. Respect. I treat them as I would want to be treated, right? So... This could vary depending, like, for example, there are people in my life whom have passed. And if I were contacting them specifically, the way that I interacted with them could potentially be very different than it would someone who I never met or never knew because I already had a relationship with them. And while I understand they're not what they were, it's, there's still a connection there, right? So, you know, like I'll cuss at my mom if I, you know, if I were to call her in and talk to her, you know, I'd be not at, maybe not like cussing at her, but you know what I mean? Like I would just be having a normal conversation with her and I might not do that with someone farther removed that I don't really know. I would come in with a different level of respect because I already have established boundaries with people who I knew in life. Right. Um, but in general, I'm going to treat whatever it is I'm contacting the way I would want to be treated in the same 
circumstance, at least. I would not want to pass from this earth and then have someone summon me and try to command me to do their bidding. That would be really, I, I wouldn't like that. I would not like that. I know I wouldn't. <laughs> so I'm never going to do that. I'm not going to contact any, on any end of the spectrum, anywhere, and try to command them. I will try to build a rapport and a relationship with them and work with them. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, kind of. You know, I'm going to honor you. I'm going to, I believe in you. And I'm going to make offerings to you. And I'm going to talk to you. And I'm going to, you know, interact with you and give you life in a way. You know what I mean? Acknowledge that you're there, that you're real, and that this is a thing. And honor that. And in return, you know, maybe you'll do me some solids too. But I, that, I mean... Basically, that's the gist of it. My ethics when it comes to contacting spirits of any kind is respect. Show them the same respect I would want for myself that I would want in return. You know, the golden rule, do unto others, that sort of thing. So uh, basically, that's my feelings on ethics on this topic. So again, this is coming from someone who doesn't really actively do this kind of thing on a super regular basis. So maybe some of the other hosts have some more in-depth, interesting ethics and ideas of what those ethics should be. But mine is pretty simple. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out and listening to me. And until next time, much love and gratitude.